everybody, and welcome to Phil Waybright Gymnasium, where we have coverage tonight of the Argus Lady Dragons hosting the Oregon Davis Lady Bobcats here on RTC TV4. And I am Dylan Kindig here, accompanied by Val T here. Dylan, great to be here. It's great to have you here. And we have Phil Dean and Gavin on the camera. We got the whole crew here. It's great to see. This is the most we've had up here in a while. And the Dragons coming in on the season. They are 10-5, and five, undefeated in their conference, 4-0. While the Oregon Davis Lady Bobcats are 4-10 and 10 coming into this game, coming off of a six-game losing streak. Anything? Anything, Val? Well, let's start off tonight with a trivia question, Dylan. Okay. When was the last time Oregon Davis had a six-game losing streak? Oh, boy. I... Yeah, I got nothing there. 2004. Wow. 18 years. I mean, that's probably the year you were born, maybe. Yeah, 2003. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, this is unheard of for yeah. OD girls basketball. They do not have six-game losing streaks. They haven't had a losing season since 2004 either, okay. and they're 4-10 and 10 on the season. They were 4-4, four and four and all of a sudden a six-game losing streak. So this is, this is very, very surprising. But something's going to give tonight. Either OD is going to break their six-game losing streak or... Argus is going to break their five-game losing streak against OD. Argus has lost the last five meetings against the Lady Bobcats, including last year when they lost um, by 26 uh, in Hamlet. So something's got to give tonight. Uh, I think the key tonight is going to be that matchup down in the low post when you talk about Lizzie Edmonds and Madeline Hudspeth. If you're not familiar with Hudspeth, I mean, she is a big-time player. I think she's going to Manchester University to play okay. basketball. She's a really good volleyball player, too. She's 6'1". So she, I mean, she's a good height matchup yeah. with Lizzie. She had 30 last week in a game against Triton. I mean, she has to have a big game if OD wants yeah. to win this game. But at the same time, she's got to stay out of foul trouble. OD only lists seven girls on their whole within yeah. their whole program. I mean, they don't have a JV, and they only list seven. Husbeth is their only senior. She's got to carry them tonight. Yep. The other girl, you, I think, if you're a, you want to look out for, if you're Argus, and I'm sure Coach Jennings is prepared for, is McKenna Chester. She's a junior, really good shooter. She's 5'10". I mean, she's going to help out Hudspeth on the boards, again, yeah. if OD wants to compete. But, again, it's just strange. Six-game losing streak for OD. I can't believe we're talking about it. Yeah, I know it. I will be right back. We have. I have to get ready to sing the national anthem. I have to be a part of that. So awesome. I'll leave it to you for now. Okay. All right. I think I can do this. All right. All right. So it's a five-game losing streak for Argus against OD. The last time they beat them was in the, the first game of that losing streak was that memorable sectional final in 2018 that turned out to be Gary Teal's final game as Argus coach. OD won that game 50-48 to at OD in the sectional final. Um, that, was the third, that was the third meeting between those two teams that year. OD won up winning two of the three. That was kind of the rubber match. And then uh, that's the first game. And then uh, OD beat Argus twice and... Coach Dan Dewar's first year in 2018, 2019, and then uh, one game each each of the last two years. So Argus hungry to uh, to beat OD. This is, you know, this has always been a kind of a good measuring stick, especially since you know Argus and OD are in the same sectional. So these two teams could meet again once the sectional starts at Culver on February 1st. Argus is coming off a 47-28 win over Lakeland Christian on Saturday. And Lizzie Edmonds led the way in that game with, or excuse me, uh, Samantha Redinger led the way in scoring with, in that game. She had 17 and Lizzie Edmonds had 15. I think that's been kind of one of the one of the big stories for Argus, getting more scoring from players other than Lizzie Edmonds. Uh, Samantha Redinger has really stepped it up. Argus as a team, they've raised their scoring average. They averaged about 38 points a game last year, up to around 44 points a game this year. And now our national anthem with Dylan and the guys and girls.
I also mentioned about Argus. Argus won nine games all of last season. They already have ten wins this season and counting. All right, and now we have the starting lineups for the starting for the Lady Bobcats from Oregon Davis. It's number 15, Elizabeth Johnson. Number 31, Madeline Hudspeth. Number 35, McKenna Chesser. Number 45, Madison Wireman. And number 53, Kylie Saylor. And now the lineup for the Dragons to start this one off. It's number 10, a sophomore, Samantha Redinger. A junior, number 20, Emma Dunlap. Wearing number 34 is a senior, Sophie Bullenbacher. Wearing number 40 is another senior, Lizzie Edmond. And a junior wearing number 42, it's Amanda Fajardo. Some new lineups for the Dragons these last two games. They've taken, they've been taking out Sophie and uh, Bullenbacher and Stoltz. Last, last game out, it was Bullenbacher that didn't start. And now this game, it's Stoltz with Fajardo filling in that extra spot. Mm -hmm. Well, this is probably the first time Coach Jennings has said this all year, but they're going to have the depth advantage in this game. Yeah, yeah, I know. Argus has only, what, about 11 girls in their program, but... OD with only the 12, seven. but OD with only yep. seven. When you think of OD basketball, you think of full-court pressure, and they're just... They want a wild, chaotic game, but if you only have seven girls, it's going to be hard to play that way. Yep. I'll be curious to see how long they can keep that up, or if they maybe play a... Even more of a half court style. Hudspeth wins the tip, and Oregon Davis starts with the basketball. Top of the key here, Sailor gives to Johnson, setting something up. Tip by Dunlap. Johnson taking it cross court. OD in kind of like a like a four around one set almost. Here's a shot. Toes just inside the line. And that one's good from Wireman. Give to Edmonds on the wing. Back to Dunlap. OD in a Edmund. zone. Here's Redinger from the corner. Three, no good, short. And that one's going to go off on Oregon Davis. It's going to be Dragon's ball under the basket. OD in a 2-3 zone, so let's see how Argus attacks it. Let's see if Emma Dunlap can attack it off the dribble and get in this, in, into the gaps. Redinger thought or, about or it. If, or if Redinger can do that. And we know Samantha Redinger can knock down those shots if she's open. She did it the first time around, but she's done it all year. Good pass by Dunlap, gives to Fajardo, can't get it to go. Rebound Edmonds, also can't get it. And so here comes Oregon Davis the other way. Nice block by Hudspeth on Fajardo. Johnson looking around. Wireman with it. Johnson trying to slow things down, picks up her dribble. Feed into Hudspeth, gets tangled up, and there's going to be a jump ball. It's going to go to the Dragons. Nice play by Lizzie to anticipate the pass into the post. I have a feeling they're going to be feeding Hudspeth a lot in the middle, knowing that's a pretty good match. Like, not that either one has really a huge advantage, just it's a really good matchup. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling they're going to be feeding it. Fajardo trying to get position. Here's Edmonds on the wing. 
Dunlap a three. Got it. And the Dragons take a lead with that one. It's three to two. That ball's going to go off Oregon Davis. And the Dragons will get it back. Well, it looks like Sailor's job is to be kind of like a one-person press. And the other four are kind of in a zone. It's kind of... It does kind of look like a 1-4, yeah. Yeah. Edmonds baseline jumper, no good. Tough shot. Here comes Chesser, right side. Tries to go in and draws a block. It's going to be on the floor, so the Bobcats are going to have the ball under the basket. That one's going to be on Dunlap, her first, and the team's first. Tries to feed inside. It's going to go off of Fajardo, it looked like, and the Bobcats are going to get it right back. I'm surprised Sailor didn't go up with the shot there. What was, she, what was she looking for? Yeah, and I thought instead of kicking across side, I thought she had someone in the near corner. Yeah, it looked like she had an open look in the lane. Hud Spith. Bullenbacher guarding. Gives it back to Johnson. It looks like Argus is kind of playing his own, kind of their own version of a match up there. Definitely don't want Hudspeth to get touches. Edmonds drives, no good. Here comes Johnson the other way. Two Gives blocks to Chesser. Two blocks already for Hudspeth. She's got kind of a long wingspan. Johnson a wing three. Got, got it off the glass and it's good. It's five to three now. Oregon Davis takes back the lead. Here's Dunlap, she'll go with her left. Floater, off the window and good. Here's Chester, a three, no good. Rebound, Redinger, and she'll take it herself. Tipped and out of bounds, it's gonna be a Dragon's ball. We have the substitution, Sophie Bollenbacher's gonna come out and checking in is Bella Stoltz. I'd like to be Aubrey Lady, replacing the greatest coach in the history of your school in any sport. And that just happens to be your father. Yeah. I saw Terry Menix here. He is listed as a volunteer coach. Okay. As Stalta's 15-foot jumper drops. But yeah, that's got to be an interesting situation, knowing the expectations going into that. Right. But if anything, if anybody would know, it would be her. Yeah. And that one's good by Hudspeth, a strong finish. In trouble, turnover. And Johnson's going to double dribble and give the Dragons the ball right back. I guess that would be considered a brain cram? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I don't know what what she was thinking there. She might have thought the refs would have thought that it was just like a kind of a gather thing. Mm -hmm. And so here comes Johnson the other way. That was a nice pass by Lizzie. You'll take that shot every time, yeah. even though she didn't make it. Chesser a three, it's good. OD takes the lead 10 to seven. Here's Edmonds, gives to Redinger. Looks, nothing there. Stoltz goes to her right, gives to Dunlap, wing three. No good, it's short. Strong rebound by Hudspeth. Kicks to Chesser in the corner. Here's Johnson. Gives back to Sailor. Sailor, no good. Gets her own rebound. Here's Hudspeth inside, going to her right, goes off her foot, right to Chesser. Feeds Hudspeth again. Again, double team stolen by Edmonds. Four turnovers for OD. Dunlap cross court to Redinger. 
Dunlap, another three. Good. Got it that time. Ties the game 10-10. Nice offense there by Argus. Here's Chester, another three. No good. Hudspeth, the rebound. Argus got two ball reversals there, and when you get two ball reversals, you're almost always going to get an open shot. Hudspeth gets around for Hardo and gets it to go. Dunlap thought about it. Kicks out. Here's Redinger. She drives with her left. Gives it to Edmonds. 13-footer. No good. Rebound Dunlap. Can't get the, uh, the put back to go. Here's Chester going against Edmonds. Good defense by Edmonds. Forcing the miss. And we're going to have a jump ball below the basket. It's going to go to Oregon Davis. Checking in is Carly Miller for Samantha Redinger. And here's Weyerman for three in the corner. No good. Rebound Edmonds. Gives to Stoltz. Blocked by Hudspeth. And Johnson picked up her dribble. Gives it to Chesser. Back to Johnson. Right wing three. No good. Weyerman and Stoltz fighting for it. It's going to go to Oregon Davis. Argus got lucky in that last possession. They were so worried about Hudspeth on the inbounds play that they wound up giving up an open corner three. Yeah. Thankfully for OD, they missed it. Argus's ball movement's been fine. Very good. Just haven't quite made shots. And Hudspeth has three blocks already. Johnson, a corner three, rolls in and out. And here's Dunlap the other way. Gives to Stolch, goes with her left. Kicks out to Miller, wing three. Off the mark. Rebound to Wireman. Chesser gives inside to a contested lane. Hudspeth tries to get it, no good. And the ball's going to go to the Dragons. Well, you just see how tough Hudspeth is to guard there. I mean, she was double teamed, and she dribbled right around the double team and got herself a look, and I'm sure that's a shot she'd want to have over again. Yeah. She just got the last one to go. Fajardo tried taking a charge, got around her, and still got the basket to go. So no matter what, she's still going to get her points. Yeah, they were fronting her. They were playing in back of her, and she still got a look. Stoltz thought about it, gives to Miller. And at this point in her career, I'm sure Hudspeth has seen most everything. Yeah. Dumb lap. High elbow three, no good. A lot of deep shots taken from both teams, more than we've seen in Great previous Great defense games. by Stoltz. And as the first quarter ends, it is 12 to 10. Oregon Davis has a two-point lead, only one foul in total this quarter. And that first quarter action comes to an end here on RTC TV4 as we roll some ads for you now for your viewing pleasure. Peaks and valleys. And we're back here with upcoming second quarter action. Oregon Davis leads 12 to 10. Close game, very well fought game so far. A lot of outside shots, but also really well interior offense from Maddie Hudspeth. Right, and she's just as big a factor on the defensive end as she is offensively. So I think Argus has gotten some pretty good looks. Um, they're just going to have to make some, and they're going to have to, you know, turnovers. OD with four and Argus with one, but Argus really couldn't convert the turnovers into points. I think that's something they're going to have to hope to do as this game progresses. But again, the ball movement's really been fine. And just as we mentioned, they only committed one turnover. They do one there. Johnson couldn't get it to go in transition. And here comes Dunlap the other way. Here's Miller. Looks inside for Edmonds. Fights for it. Gets the ball, but there's a foul inside. It's going to be on Hudspeth, her first. Team's first. Miller to inbound, gives it to Stoltz. Back to Stoltz again, looks inside for Edmonds, tips it to her, blocked. Here's Fajardo, the putback, no good. Good block there by Chesser, getting inside and contesting Edmonds. 
Yeah, Lizzie got behind Hudspeth there for a second. He thought she had an open look, but Hudspeth deflected the pass. And the play was kind of out of rhythm after that. Miller's corner three is good. And that'll give the Dragons the lead back, 13 to 12. Chesser right wing gives it to Johnson. Looking for Saylor in the middle, didn't find her. Here's Weyerman. And stolen by Edmonds. Finds Stoltz. Got it to go. And then will extend it to a three point lead. Still haven't seen any substitutions from Oregon Davis tonight, so you gotta really think that energy is gonna be a factor, especially late in the game if it's still this close. Mm -hmm. Argus with really that first transition bucket of the game, that's a good sign. One way to beat his own defense is don't let it get set up. Yep. And they didn't there. Stalt's foot just inside the line. Couldn't get it to go. And Johnson's going to get it, take it the other way. Finds Saylor in the middle, but couldn't come up with it. Here comes Dunlap the other way. Layup's up and good. And here comes Johnson again. Give to Chesser. Thought about it. Here's Saylor in the middle. 15-footer, no good. Rebound Hudspeth, but she's going to go over the back. And it's going to be Dragon's ball. And that's going to be two on Hudspeth, I think. Yeah, that, yeah yep. that's her second team second. But again, <laughs> if you're Coach Lady, I don't think you have much of an option here. Yeah. <laughs> you got to let her let it ride. Here comes Edmonds, goes to the middle. Finds Miller, wing three. No good. Here's Chesser, good hands by Stoltz. She'll drive baseline. Puts it up, blocked by Fajardo. Dunlap right side, splits the trap. Tries to get through. Got it off the glass. A late Christmas present there for <laughs> Emma Dunlap. Uh, I think if Marv Albert were here, he would call that a garbage layup. <laughs> uh, no good there. And here comes Miller in transition. Almost got it. Boy, it's so strange. For years and years, whenever a team would play Oregon Davis, you'd say, oh, you've got to slow the game down, make it a half-court game. Yep. Argus is doing the opposite. They're trying to... They want this game to be played up and down the court, and it's OD who wants it to be a half-court game. Strong play by Hudspeth there, getting her own rebound and putting it back up. Here's Dunlap, takes a dribble in, finds Fajardo. Here's Stoltz just inside the line. It's good. Seven-point lead, 21-14. Finds Chesser opposite side, draws the foul on Fajardo. And I believe these are going to be the first free throws of the night. It was a nice set by Coach Lady and the Lady Bobcats. They saw Argus with kind of a kind of a double team on Hudspeth and Chesser. <laughs> they ran a screen a, to the yeah. opposite side, yeah. yeah. Dragon substitution, it's going to be Sophie Bullenbacher in for Amanda Fajardo. And Fajardo has made huge strides this season from at the beginning of the year, not getting many, probably as many minutes as she would like, but now being into the starting rotation. Mm hmm thing you notice about Argus is every every girl on Argus's team is capable of dribbling it. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily, you know, you don't have to necessarily be James Harden out there or or uh, Chris Paul, but just being able to handle the ball a little bit, not being afraid to dribble it, it certainly helps. Yeah. We're going to get a jump ball. Yeah. It's going to go to Oregon Davis. 
And we're going to get a substitution as well. It's going to be Samantha Redinger checking in for Emma Dunlap. But yeah, it definitely does help, especially with someone like Lizzie, who's been a, one of the primary ball handlers, even yeah. at her size. Uh, it really adds versatility. Chesser looks cross court. Here's Johnson, stolen by Edmonds, or tipped by Edmonds, stolen by Stoltz. She'll take it herself with the left hand, got it to go, and the foul. Yeah, like just imagine if Coach Breeden would let me dribble more, you know? I'd probably have way more turnovers, yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> right, and you never want to dribble too much. Yeah. But just take a couple dribbles, maybe get out of trouble, get the, move the ball over. Good play there by the Dragons. Lizzie gets the offensive rebound, kicks back out to Stoltz for the basket. But yeah, Coach Mawson always told me, when you get the ball, two dribbles maximum, and then you mm -hmm. pass it away or shoot it. That was big, a four-point possession there for Argus. Hudspeth draws the foul. She'll go to the line. And Liz seems a little shaken up after that one. Lizzie's tough. She's a soccer player. <laughs> Hudspeth's first goes, and we're going to get a substitution. Fajardo comes in for Edmonds. Hudspeth's second's good, and it's once again a seven point lead. Finds Bullenbacher in the middle. Gives it to Fajardo, she'll go up. No good. Draws the foul though, she'll go to the line for two. And it's gonna be on Chesser. Her first and the team's fourth. First shot's no good. I remember talking with Coach Jennings before the season started. He said, look out for Amanda Fajardo. She could be someone who gets a lot more playing time this year. Yeah. A real breakthrough year for her, and I think he's been right. And he's only getting more right. Yeah, definitely. She's definitely putting in mm -hmm. quality minutes to help out her team. Chesser gets the shot to go. Contested, draws the foul. It's going to be on Bella Staltz. Her first, the team's fourth. Chester's shot's good. And we're going to get another substitution. It's going to be Emma Dunlap coming in for Carly Miller. Oregon Davis still sticking to the one-man uh, pressure. Finds Stoltz, takes it with her left hand, blocked by Hudspeth. That's got to be three or four at this point. Four, I have. Four. Tipped away by Fajardo. Finds Chesser, right wing, gives it to Saylor. Good fake. And here's Johnson, a three. No good. It's going to re be rebounded by Redinger. And gives it back to Redinger. She'll go in with her left. Floats one up. No good. Rebound for Hardo. Tries to draw a foul. Can't get it. She saw Hudspeth in the neighborhood. And when she's down there, you just feel that presence. Yeah. going to be on Bullenbacher, her second, the team's fifth. To inbound is Johnson. Stolen, almost stolen. Chesser drives in. No good. 
It's going to be rebounded by Saylor. Kicks out Hudspeth. She'll take it with the right. Kicks out Johnson. Hudspeth wants the ball. Yep. Especially with Lizzie out of the game. Hudspeth gets it. Good defense there by Fajardo. And here comes Dunlap now. Finds Stoltz, gives to Fajardo. Almost. Good tip there by Hudspeth, hoping a teammate would get it. Inside. Kicks back out Johnson. Good inside out offense. Couldn't get it to go, though. Strong rebound by Redinger. Dunlap, top of the key, takes it to her right. Dunlap pulls a three. It's good. That extends the lead to eight. It's 29-21 with a minute left here in the first half. Well, that's a big swing in momentum. I mean, OD had an open look at a three the other end. If they make that, they're down by two. Now all of a sudden, they're down by eight. Emma Dunlap, her shot has never looked better. Yeah. Picks up her dribble. Here's Chesser, corner three. It's good. Got the points right back. It's now five-point game. Dunlap gives to Redinger, stolen. That was not good at all. Here comes Saylor down the other end. Couldn't get it to go, gets her own rebound. Puts it back up, no good. Hudspeth gets it back, left-handed, shot's good. Three-point game with 10 seconds left. Here's Dunlap, she'll take it. Good drive, got it to go. And with the first half coming to an end, it's the Dragons with a five point lead, 31 to 26. Coming off of the shot from Emma Dunlap, a good drive. This is RTC TV 4's coverage here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium. We'll get right back to you for second half action. As we get back with action here at Phil Waybright Gymnasium, the ball's gonna start with Redinger and go to Stoltz. The team in Argus is sectional, not a lot of people are talking about is lacrosse. Having a very good season over there. Okay. It's now a seven-team sectional with Trinity Greenlawn in the sectional this year. Okay, gotcha. What sectional were they in before? They weren't in a sectional. They weren't, okay. This is their first year in the IHSAA. Okay. They had one of those, I guess, probationary memberships. but They're in it full-time now. Gotcha. I didn't know if they were or not before. Because what was, was it Clinton Christian that... Is it part of it as well? Right, they're, they're not in it, and they're yeah. still not in it. Dunlap, top of the key, three, no good. Rebound Stoltz, puts it back up, also no good. Rebound Hudspeth. Five rebounds for Hudspeth to go along with her four block shots and ten points. Johnson's going to give to Chesser. Cross court to Johnson. Inside, stolen by Edmonds. And Redinger's going to draw a blocking foul on Johnson. Argus will play Bremen in the Bi-County tournament on Tuesday night. And Argus knocked Bremen out of Bi-County last year. That's going to be over and back. Yep. If you have not seen... Ashlyn Brook play for Pioneer. You'll see her play on Saturday. Okay. And if you've not seen Aaliyah Foster from Bremen play, you'll see her on Tuesday night, and she is she is sensational herself. Maybe not in that Ashlyn Brook leading, leading the state in scoring sort of way, but she's very, very good. Yeah. Sailor trapped in the corner. Gives to Wireman and stalls a foul. It's going to be the first of the half for the Dragons. Ashlyn. And it's going to be... Stoltz is second. Ashlyn Brook had 29 the other night against McConaughey. Wow. And Haley Kripe had 22, 51 of their 60, and they won 60 to 52. That is, that's insane, having a one-two punch like that. Yeah. They're... Johnson, foot just inside the line, can't get it to go. Nice pass by Hudspeth. Here's Redinger, gives to Stoltz. Edmonds finds Dunlap, pulls a three. No good. Rebound to Hudspeth. Almost traveled, just kept that foot down. T 
Tip by Edmonds, gets to Saylor though, and Johnson gives to Hudspeth. She'll go to her right, shots up, no good, rebound Edmonds. Long heave for Stoltz, can't make the connection. See, that's when you just need to find your inner Travis Kelsey, make that over the shoulder. Yeah. Stoltz tried to get away from Hudspeth on the inside, blocked. And here comes Edmonds. Was that Fajardo with the block? I, I honestly don't know whose hand it was, but. That was great, I mean, that was great help by Fajardo if yeah. it wasn't a block by her. Fajardo the rebound, tries to go back up, finds Edmonds, 15 footer, good. Lizzie's out there fighting and hobbling, still dropping baskets. Stolen by Redinger. And here we go, it's a two on two. She'll take it herself, it's good. Well, neither Redinger nor Edmonds scored in the first half and both of them get their first buckets just seconds apart. And all of a sudden it's a nine point lead. And Hudspeth gets out of that, gets the basket. Kicks up to Redinger, almost stolen. Here's Dunlap, and the Dragons are going to get a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout for the Dragons. Took a little bit to get that information. Dragons looking like they lost a little bit of ball control that last possession. Coach Jennings bailed them out. Yeah, it looks like OD has kind of ratcheted up the pressure a little bit in the second half. They, down by seven, I don't think they can just play on their heels defensively. Again, OD lists seven on their roster. I see six girls in attendance. And the sixth girl hasn't even taken off her warm-ups. If I remember right. seeing them play no. last year, I remember Reagan. No, there is the seven. There okay, is the there seven. is, okay. Yeah. I mean, they have not made a sub yet in this game. and You got to think late in the game that'll mm -hmm. get to them a little bit. Redinger's going to give to Dunlap. She'll drive. Tipped. Almost good, got it. Good hands by Chester. Good pass. Just thrown a little off momentum, though. And Oregon Davis is going to get the ball. Well, that's got to be frustrating. You can call a timeout, and then you commit a turnover in your first possession after the timeout. It was a good look, just a yeah. little mislocation on the pass. Argus with three turnovers in the first half and three turnovers already in the second half. We've only played four minutes. Johnson gives to Saylor, thought about shooting it. Gives it to Wireman. Back to Johnson. Tries to find Saylor inside and is stolen by Redinger. Gives off to Stoltz. Kick out Dunlap, good fake. Tries to find Stoltz inside, comes away with it, but we're gonna get a travel. Set up by really nice defense by Hudspeth. If that pass gets there, it's probably a layup, but that's been still playing hard. Yeah. And we're going to get our first substitution from Oregon Davis. It's number 25, Reagan Danford. And we have an Allison Zom sighting. Danford drives with her left, gives to Sailor. Here's Johnson. Gives to Danford. Danford a three. No good. Rebound Sailor caught it off the window. And they're sticking with that one one man pressure.
Edmonds on top. Gives to Redinger. Tries to find Edmonds back inside. Saltz looks for Edmonds. Finds Redinger, great pass. Redinger with the basket, that extends the lead to seven. And that's Lizzie's experience showing up there. Good defense by Staltz, drawing the miss. Got to get the rebound, though. Hudspeth gets it back, put it, puts it in. Redinger in the corner. Gives the Staltz into Dunlap. Redinger a three. Got it. 40. Oh, it was a two. Never mind. Oh, no. All right. It was a three. It was 39 at first, so I got a little confused. Cross court. Here's Danford. Great defense by Zom. Down court. Redinger finds Stoltz. Good tip there to Stoltz for the basket. Ten point lead now for the Dragons. It's 42 32. Sailor a three. It looked like it got tipped. Spins back into the middle. Hudspeth couldn't get it to go. Lizzie. Zomda Dunlap. Edmonds on the wing. Here's Zom again. Dunlap back to Redinger. Good ball movement from the Dragon. Sets up a good shot. Can't get it to go. Who's got better shooting for him, Samantha or Teddy? <sighs> Probably Samantha. Ted's shot. I don't. It, there's something about it. It just seems a little wacky, but he gets it to work. Mm -hmm. It's being Lizzie. No, it's on Stoltz. Stoltz is third, the team's second in the half. Hud Smith can't get it to go. And that is OD's first miss of the night. They're now five for six from the line. Hudspeth second, also no good, short iron. Dunlap gives to Edmonds. Back to Dunlap, back to Edmonds. Tries to scoop and score, no good. Staltz gets it back off the glass and in. 12 point lead, I believe this is the biggest lead of the night. Fourteen for Bella. Three from Danford. Got to go. <laughs> Redinger thought about shooting the corner. He's done lap top of the key. Gives to Edmonds. Takes a dribble. Takes a shot. No good. Again, that's just the presence of Hudspeth's defense. Good tip there by Edmonds to prevent a last second shot. And the Dragons going into the fourth quarter have a lead, 44-35, nine point lead. This, and we're gonna go to a break now to get into the four, action of the fourth quarter. And we welcome you back to Argus, Indiana for tonight's coverage of the Argus Lady Dragons hosting the Oregon Davis Lady Bobcats. Dragons have a nine point lead going into the fourth quarter. It's 44 to 35. And this one could go down to the wire, but it'll come down to energy and probably free throws. I mean, they just missed the last two. That could have cost them. I mean, it did cost them a few points, but it could cost them later on as well. Here's a weird stat. Chester led OD in scoring in the first half with 11. She didn't score at all in the third quarter. Okay. Dun Dunlap led Argus with 17 in the first half, and she didn't score at all in the third quarter. Argus able to extend their lead from five at the half to nine now. Here's Dunlap, gives to Edmonds. Back to Edmonds, 16-footer, no good. Here's Johnson on the right side. Tries to get to Sailor, but goes loose. Back to Johnson. Here's Chester in the corner. 
OD got lucky there. Finds Saylor on the inside. Can't get it. Here comes Dunlap rushing down the right side. Finds Stoltz. Good pass. Couldn't get it. Too hard on the shot. Stoltz gets it back. And here's Redinger. Bullenbacher gives to Edmonds. Here's Redinger. Takes it with her left. And that one's stolen by Johnson. She'll go the other way. Kicks out Weierman. Tip by Stoltz. Taken in by Chesser. Chesser's drive. Stolen by Bullenbacher. Here's Dunlap. Wing three. No good. Short. And Chester's going to draw a foul on Stoltz, trying to get the rebound. That's going to be her fourth. Not a good shot by Emma. Now with a nine-point lead and six minutes to go. That's I'd like to see her drive the ball to the basket in that yeah. situation. Yeah. You don't, you don't need a three there. And Fajardo's going to check in now for Stoltz. It's that whole, what is, what's the old coach saying? We don't want good shots, we want great shots. Yeah. That was, that was a good shot, but it wasn't a great shot. And a great shot's mm -hmm. probably five feet or in. Yeah. Here's Saylor, no one nearer. Blocked by Edmonds still. It's going to be tipped out by Edmonds, though, trying to get it to s someone else to grab it. So it's going to be Urgan Davis ball on the baseline. Again, if you're OD Hutzpeth, it's got to get touches here. Yeah. Takes it to the middle, tries to draw contact. There's nothing there. Well, there was Lizzie there. Yeah, yeah, good point. And Hutzpeth had that look. I think she wanted to foul, but I think part of that was I can't believe somebody just blocked my shot. That doesn't happen very often with her. Back inside to Hutzpeth. She'll take it back outside. Be a lot of good post players in that sectional with Lizzie and Hutzpeth and Addison Beers of yeah. Triton. Yep. Veers had 25 the other night against Winnemac. Okay. She has been putting up big numbers all year for first-year coach Kennedy Crawl and the Lady Trojans. Dunlap takes it. Good fake. Couldn't get it to go, though. Great block by Hutzpeth. Here's Johnson taking it on the right side to Chesser. Finds Sailor. Basket's good. Redinger's going to take it herself. Good defense by Hutsmith once again. Sailor gives to Johnson. Johnson, wing three, no good. Rebound Redinger. When they start missing shots short, that's a sign of fatigue. Yep. Lob to Bullenbacher. Floater, no good. Blocked, it looked like. Looked like, yeah, it looked like Hudspeth might have blocked it again. And we're going to get a 30-second timeout from Oregon Davis. They cut into the lead a little bit. It's a seven-point deficit now for the yeah. Bobcats. What's interesting is that Coach Lady, even with a very limited roster, yeah. that's her the first timeout she's called all game, Yeah, and she takes it with 4.58 to go in the game. You would think, you know, I'll use my timeouts here and there just to give my girls a breather. Yeah. No, not at all. And it's not like this game has been a slowdown game either. Yeah, I know it. It's been back and forth, a lot of transition ball tonight. And it's never been larger than, what, a 12-point lead? So it's not like it's a blowout for anyone. Yeah, Argus, Argus's biggest lead was 12 at 44-32. OD has scored five unanswered since then. OD had a three-point lead in the first quarter, 10-7. to seven. Yep. That was their biggest lead. Hutspeth takes it with the right hand, blocked by Edmonds again. And that time it's going to be a foul. Edmonds trying to block from behind. And Hutspeth will go to the line again. Hudspeth's first shot, can't get it. She's missed three in a row now. So 
Second one's up, that one's good. A little more pressure now for Morgan Davis. Doesn't matter for Dunlap, gets right around it. Finds Bullenbacher, here's Edmonds. Gives to Miller. Fajardo on the inside. Mislocation on the pass to Bullenbacher. And Oregon Davis is gonna get the ball back. Turnover number nine for Argus. Stultz is gonna check in for Bullenbacher and Redinger is gonna check in for Miller. 15 and turnovers for OD. This is a pretty good ball handling lineup that Argus has out there. Yeah. With Stultz, Redinger, and Dunlap out there, and, and Lizzie too. And Stultz has to be careful, she's got those four fouls. Tipped, almost stolen. Hudsmith goes up, no good. Gives the Dunlap. Here's Redinger, other side of the court. Good vision there from Dunlap, making sure the ball got up. Stultz, baseline jumper, no good. Rebound to Chesser. Johnson's got it, tipped by Stultz, stolen by Edmonds. She'll kick it up. And Stultz's left hand shot, good. That was big. Yeah. That broke over, I think, over a five-minute scoring drought for Argus. And Argus has gotten a lot of steals on that kind of that cross-court pass. Good defense on their part, though, not giving up the lead. We're going to get a timeout from Coach Jennings, a 32nd. Dragons up 45-38 here in the fourth with just under three and a half left. Six. They keep. <sighs> These scores keep changing on me. It just said 45 for a second, and now it's at 46. Unless I'm wrong and the bar's in the way. Which, yeah, that's probably right. 46 38 as we return to action. And another Argus turnover. And here's the good news if you're. OD fan, they've got five fouls to give. Yeah. They've only committed one foul this half. They've only committed five fouls for the entire game. And they can be very aggressive defensively. Hutspeth is, I, I believe, their only player with more than one foul. Yeah, because she had the two in the first yeah. half, I think. Good shot there by Hutspeth. Finds Edmonds, and here's Stoltz. Stoltz finds Edmonds in the middle. Almost stolen by Chesser. That was nice uh -oh. anticipation by Chesser and a nice job by Lizzie to preserve the possession. Yeah. Stoltz will drive. Blocked. Blocked by Chesser. Great defensive play there to save the basket. Hudspeth gives back to Johnson. Back inside to Hudspeth. Danford looks, nothing there. Stolen by Stoltz. She's got a breakaway. And Strett by Johnson. Tries to feed Redinger inside. It's gonna go out of bounds off Chesser and the Dragons are gonna get the ball on the baseline. And coming in now is Madison Wireman. For Kylie Saylor. As soon as she comes in for Saylor, Danford, who didn't play at all, is now playing in crunch time here. Yeah. With their team down by six and two minutes to go. Here's Dunlap, drives to her right. Step through, good pass to Redinger, can't get it to go. Good fight in there by Edmonds, trying to preserve the possession. Oh, that was a heck of a play by Lizzie. And we're going to have a 30 second timeout as Edmonds fights for the ball and the Dragons will keep possession.
Still, Dragons still at 46. Not much scoring here from them in the second half. Right. And now the, the issue that OD, the, the fact that they've only committed one foul actually might work against them now. They've got to commit. I mean, they've just got to start whacking people almost. Uh, or at least they've got to start thinking that they're near the point where they're going to have to do that. Yeah. Just to get them to the line, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you watch, you're just watching Hudspa's body language. You can tell that she's confident. She's kind of she's kind of the vocal leader out there, too. Uh -huh. If you're Argus, you like to get a quick layup out of here so they can't foul. Just like that. That's a good shot. Couldn't get it to go. 11 rebounds for Hudspeth. Hudspeth back out to Johnson. Tip by Stoltz, another steal. And she's traveled, trying to get the ball to Renninger. This has got to be frustrating if you're Argus. OD has eight turnovers this quarter, and yet they have outscored Argus 5-2 to two somehow. Another substitution. Kylie Saylor is going to come back into the game for Wireman. Shot by Johnson, tipped. Renninger yep. should have tried to save that, but let and, it go. And that was Bella. Yeah. How many steals does she have? Do you know? No, I'm going to have to look at the video when we get back. Because there's a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, she is a one-person press out there. They can't get that ball reversal pass where they want it, and it's Bella. Chester's three, no good. Rebound Johnson. Gives inside. No good. good Danford couldn't get it to go. Good defense by Fajardo. Here's Redinger. Finds Stoltz. Back to Redinger. You've got to start fouling if you're OD. I mean, you, Especially you've just got to start fouling. Yeah. Good ball movement from the Dragons. And they let it go. It's going to be a backcourt violation. Oregon Davis gets the ball back. Still down six with just over, with 47 left. Turnover number 12 for Argus, so. And what, only three in the first half. Right, yeah. nine in the second half. Finds Johnson inside Saylor. Tipped by Edmonds and stole it. Yeah, you, you really got to start fouling now, and they're not. A good, good steal, though. Good hands by Edmonds trying to get it back. Here's Hudspeth. They're taking too much time. Danford goes in, tries to draw a foul, no good. And here's Dunlap. Yeah, they never, they never started fouling and it hurt them. Fajardo shot, no good. Edmonds gets it back. No good again. And that's going to do it. I think they just lost track of the time. Yep. Maybe. Maybe. I. Because Johnson, when she got that rebound, she was telling everyone to push down the floor like there was a little more time. And Well, anyway, with that, the Dragons come away with this one. It's 46-40 to 40 at the end of regulation.